Hello everyone. Today we're discussing the causes of the Second Industrial Revolution. The First Industrial Revolution unfolded during the late 1700s and early 1800s and was a major change in the way that goods and foods were produced. Machinery and factories replaced handmade products and new forms of energy to run these machines such as coal and steam were used. The Second Industrial Revolution began shortly after the Civil War and lasted from the late 1800s to the early 1900s. In many ways, the Second Industrial Revolution was an expansion of the first, as new technologies for transportation, engineering, and communication linked the country together like never before. There were five principal causes of the Second Industrial Revolution. The availability of natural resources, immigration, new technology, the expansion of railroads, and new business practices. The first cause was an abundance of natural resources in the United States. The U.S. contained large deposits of iron, an essential mineral in the production of steel. When heated, iron ore can be converted to steel, a flexible and strong metal. Steel could only be produced in large quantities with the availability of a lot of iron ore, and certain parts of the United States, such as western Pennsylvania, near Pittsburgh had quite a bit. This led to the development of the steel towns and industrial centers that produced the steel for Americans' railroads, machines, and cities. New technologies also supported the Second Industrial Revolution. An important one was the development of a new, fast way to process iron into steel using heat. This process was developed by Henry Bessemer, it was named after him, the Bessemer Process. Other advancements also helped further the Industrial Revolution. The assembly line, perfected by Henry Ford, accelerated the mass manufacturing of industrial goods such as the automobile, and inventions to improve communication such as the telegraph and the mastering of electricity by Thomas Edison greatly improved productivity. The next major cause of the Second Industrial Revolution was the large number of immigrants that were coming to the United States in the late 1800s. Looking for jobs, the immigrants from Eastern and Southern Europe, as well as Asia, filled jobs in factories, built railroads, and contributed to the development of the United States economy. With so many natural resources, improving technologies, and a growing labor force, America was also able to expand greatly its network of railroads. Railroads were essential to the Second Industrial Revolution because they connected resources to factories, transported goods, and allowed for the mass movement of people and products. America's rail system grew dramatically in the late 1800s and became the veins of American industrialization. Finally, with all of these in place, America's business leaders began to develop new strategies for organizing their financial efforts. Businesses began selling shares of their company to the public as stock, making it a publicly owned corporation. This meant that the public could buy a percentage, however small, of the businesses and their investment would grow or shrink depending on the success of the corporation. In turn, this allowed corporations to raise money quickly as they sold stocks so they can finance new projects. As the corporation became more profitable, more people were likely to buy the shares. Some business leaders also began to dominate certain industries. John D. Rockefeller dominated oil, Cornelius Vanderbilt dominated the railroads, and Andrew Carnegie dominated the steel industry. Each used new tactics such as vertical integration, or the owning of all levels of production for their industry, and horizontal integration, or the owning of all companies in their industry, to grow their wealth and their power in the field of business. In short, the second industrial revolution was caused by multiple factors that each worked together to support the others. By the turn of the century, in the early 1900s, the United States had emerged as one of the world's leading industrial economies. Thanks, everyone.